the 3D video, or rather the stereoscopic video, is now reliving its second youth in the interests of cinema and television. We have been producing stereoscopic films for many years, back to when you could only watch them with the classic blue and red glasses. With stereoscopic vision, the audience will enter a dimension in which objects and characters stand out clearly from the screen. A window opens for the spectator in which they can view both the front and the inside of the screen. The stereoscopic video can be real or virtual, that is, films made with video cameras or computer graphics. We do them both. To make a virtual stereoscopic film, you need two 3D videos that are simultaneously calculated and projected for each eye. Filming real scenes in 3D is really complicated. Every shot has to be carefully studied in order to intervene on the convergence and the distance between the two cameras, increasing or decreasing the depth of the image. We have the most efficient systems for shooting in 3D. A mirror rig for close-ups, one in parallel cameras for long shots, and a 3D camera for quick coverage. Using these systems, coordinated with each other, allows us to make 3D videos not only for high-end productions, but also, and especially, in areas such as documentaries and industrial films. The construction of a three-dimensional stereoscopic audio-visual is complex. It requires two 3D videos that are simultaneously calculated and projected, a different video for each eye, reproduced without distortions. Characters, music, 3D stereo images, special effects and sound the individual parts that must be incorporated into a system in which each element moves on a different level, moving away from or towards the viewer. Our studio has been doing this for years. We set up 3D projection systems, providing the tools for displays on large screens and monitors, both active and passive. The projected image will give the illusion of detaching itself from the screen and bring the viewer into the scene. Stereoscopic vision is an event in itself. A projection in a hall during a convention, in a fair or in a showroom, will become a driving force with which to attract the public and the press.